One of the most common reasons that children are not fully immunized on time is because their caregivers do not remember the dates of their children's next immunization appointments. I actually witnessed this problem firsthand during a summer internship in Cusco, Peru, where I volunteered at a Ministry of Health Center in the district of San Sebastian called Santa Rosa. Each day, the nurses and I hiked up into the mountainous outskirts of Cusco to look for our indigenous mothers to remind them it was time for their children to be immunized. We spent about four hours each day doing this. Because I speak Spanish fluently, I was able to ask nurses and mothers why children were not being immunized on time. They responded that when mothers leave Santa Rosa, they're handed a small piece of paper with the date of the child's next immunization appointment. But they quickly lose these paper slips because they're not conducive to mother's resource-poor environment. Because children aren't immunized fully or on time, more children die before their fifth birthday. A second problem that arises from children not being immunized fully or on time is that vaccines expire due to non-use and must be thrown out. In Peru, there's a lot of geographical and socioeconomic variation in vaccine usage. And as vaccine usage decreases, the cost of delivering those vaccines increases. The areas that are the poorest or the most rural have the highest delivery costs because they have the lowest usage rates. In response to this dilemma that I witnessed, I created a small, inexpensive immunization tracking bracelet for mothers to use. One great part about this, in addition to being very simple and inexpensive, is that these bracelets are not language specific. So mothers who are illiterate or who only speak Quechua can easily understand and use this bracelet. Additionally, using bracelets as mnemonic devices in the developing world has never been tried before. In April of 2010, my bracelet received a US patent pending status for its design and use. And now I'm in the process of converting that to a full internationally protected patent. Lastly, this bracelet solves multiple problems at once. By looking at this bracelet, a mother will know the, both the number and type of, bra of immunizations her child has received at any given time, as well as the date of her child's next immunization appointment. As a result, more children will live to their fifth birthday. A second problem it solves is with the Ministry of Health. As vaccine usage increases, the cost of delivering them will decrease, so the Ministry of Health will save money. Lastly, nurses will save valuable time spent searching for patients in the mountains and will be able to treat patients right at their clinics. Because I speak Spanish, I pitched this idea to the nurses and mothers at Santa Rosa over, over summer of 2009. When I first told them about it, they were absolutely ecstatic and kept asking when it would be ready for them to use. Each day they came back to me with suggestions on how to improve the bracelet. And then six months later, in January of 2010, I administered a survey at the same clinic to test their interest. Nurses and mothers were still very excited about the bracelet and kept asking when they could use it. The bracelet is called Alma Sana, which means healthy soul in Spanish. This refers to a holistic sense of health, meaning that when your body is healthy, so is your soul and your whole being. From birth to age four, children need 10 different vaccines that are given in the form of 20 different shots. The bracelet works by using symbols, which represent different vaccines. If a symbol repeats itself on the band, that means that a child needs multiple doses in order to be fully immunized from a certain vaccine. Because there are 20 shots distributed over the first four years of life, children will wear two different bands, one in the first year of life and a second one over the next three years of life. The numbers on the bracelet represent the number of months that have passed since a child has been born. Every symbol that appears underneath a number represents a different type of vaccine that, needs, that the child needs to receive that month. In addition to the bracelets, mothers will also receive um, plastic key cards that will have the same information as the bracelets. Mothers will receive these key cards in case they happen to misplace the bracelets. Additionally, each clinic will have two posters that also contain the same information as the key cards and the bracelets so that nurses can refer to these different symbols as they're administering each of the different vaccines to children. Over the past two years, I've written a comprehensive pilot project to implement this in the San Sebastian District of Cusco. This project is really important to me because I believe that it has a significant potential to do good in the world, and also because the Peruvians truly support this project and would love to have it happen in their community. So please support my project. I really appreciate every bit of support. Thank you.